Hey gang, here's an update on the Kingsong 16X. I'm hoping it's the final update prior to the unboxing and then the following reviews. Um, I thought I would show you some of the pictures from the assembly so you can get an idea of what's inside of it. There's the control board being placed on the top, far away from all the water and the like. You can also see the compartment for the batteries uh, carved out to the side there, and there's a little bit of a better a better view coming up here. Um, the placement of those batteries really kind of makes me happy. Uh, but I want to talk about this telescoping handle and the lift sensor. So I'm zooming in here to the bottom left corner and a little switch, and I'll show you why that's important in a clearer picture in a moment. But just to get an idea of where that is, Kingsong has switched over to a mechanical sensor, which they consider to be foolproof on the lift sensor. And basically what it is is a little spring there. And when you start to lift the handle, that uh, that switch engages and turns off the uh, the wheel so that you know, it's free spinning, right, instead of spinning up. So that's how the new system works. Is It's a, it's a mechanical uh, attached to the handle. So you lift the handle at all, and uh, voila, the wheel stops spinning. You stop lifting the handle, the spring pulls it back on the switch, and the switch engages the wheel again. And so they consider this uh, to be more foolproof and better, and they rolled it out on the Kingsong uh, 18XL. At some point they changed in midstream, um, so that was the, the, the new solution for it. And, and by the way, we are looking at a, uh, an 18L here. This is not the, uh, the picture of, of the 16X. Um, since obviously those aren't in people's hands to disassemble yet, but I'm sure it'll be there soon. Um, some of the other big news that has come out is that they have announced that there is an actual seat, and uh, here you'll see the pictures of the seat uh, being formed, and uh, it just slides right on top of the handle. It's going to run about 70 bucks US, so that should make some class of you guys very, very happy, uh, the people who actually sit on these things. Uh, for me, mm, I never really cared about the seat, but uh, there it is. Uh, in terms of shipping, they are actually on the plane right now. Um, the flight from Hong Kong to, to Anchorage arrives in Anchorage, I think, at 3.20, and then it flies to L.A. and should land about 10 p.m. today, um, at which point, hopefully, uh, we'll start the customs clearing process, and Jason at E-Wheels is hoping to mail them all out um, for those people who paid for the express shipping. This is the one that's on the plane um, on Friday, which means uh, depending on how far you are from him, one day, two day, three day, four day, you know, you can see the map. Uh, I'm in Texas, so hopefully it'll be three days from Friday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, which means that uh, if say delay is probably Tuesday, and i got to be around to sign for it, at which point I will uh, do an unboxing video and uh, a test ride, depending on how much the battery has, to let you know some initial thoughts. And then I will probably ride the heck out of it uh, all week and uh, over the weekend and, and do a more in-depth video um, for those of you who are on the fence to let you know what I think. Um, obviously, I'm spending my money on it. I'm going to be predisposed to like it, I hope. <laughs> but I will tell it like it is. Um, I always do, right? So there you go. Um, there's your, your fix. I hope it helps uh, some information for you.